boys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So a few months ago when I started my YouTube channel, I uploaded a video on how I edit my Instagram photos. And it turns out you guys absolutely love that video because right now it's sitting at 1.8k views, which is insane for me. Like I have just started my YouTube channel and most of my videos get to like 100, 200 views and that one got 1.8k views. It is insane. So I started my Instagram account the same time and I started YouTube, so it's been about four months now and I've actually got over 1,000 followers, so you guys are liking my theme. <laughs> so over the last four months of having my Instagram account, I've started to get really picky with my photos. Like I edit my photos the exact same, but like I'll look at a photo and I just won't love it. Like the filter is fine, but just like the way that I edit my photos, I just wasn't loving it. And over the last few weeks, I've actually started to change my theme. And you may have noticed I'm actually adding a lot more blue into my photos and I'm actually getting rid of a lot of the shadows in the photos as well. And I'm absolutely loving them. So if you haven't noticed the difference in my theme, I've actually started adding more blue into my photos. And you will also see that I've started taking my photos in direct sunlight as well. So now that I've found a way to edit my photos that look good with these changes, I thought it was time to give you guys an updated version of how I edit my Instagram photos. So let's get straight on into the video. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be showing you how I edit four different types of photos. So the first one is a photo of me outside with the sunlight coming through the side of the photo. The second one is going to be a shot of my breakfast that I had the other day. The third one is going to be a car photo that I take when I'm just sitting in like the passenger seat of a car. And the last one I'm going to show you is a new photo that I've been trying with the sunlight coming directly onto my face. Okay, so a lot of you have actually been asking me what I use to take my photos on. I actually just use my iPhone X. So I use my camera for filming and I take my photos on my iPhone X. So whoever's taken the photo for me, I get them to take some on just like the normal camera and then I also get them to switch it to portrait mode as well. That way the photos will look completely different but you just took them in the exact same place. And you never know, sometimes the one on like the normal camera can look a bit funny but if you put it on the portrait mode they look a lot more cleaner. Alrighty, so this is my home screen. I just have a picture of a palm tree that I took at my friend's house as the background. So what I'm going to do is go into my photo editing folder. And the app I use for my filter is called Color Story. So I'm just going to open that up. Alrighty, so now that we're on the home page, I'm going to select albums. Now here I have an album called Photos to Edit, which has the photos that I'm going to be editing for you today. And I'm going to choose the bottom one first of me outside with the sunlight coming in on the side. So now that we've opened the photo, I'm going to press continue. Now I'm going to go into filters. Now the filter I actually use is a pack called Nude by Lana. I think it was about $4 Australian. So if you want to get that, I highly recommend it. It's a really good pack. So I'm going to select on the Mood pack. Now the one that I use is called Westwood. So I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to press the tick and then we're going to review the photo up the top and then just save to our camera roll. Now I'm going to go back and then we're going to do it again for my breakfast. Press continue. Now you will see if when I select the filter westward that it actually takes out a lot of the green. So with this one, I'm actually going to lower the filter a little bit so that there's five dots showing on the right hand side. Then I'm going to press the tick, review, just save. And again, we're going to go back to the home screen, albums. Now I'm going to select the one in the car, continue. Filters, Mood, Westwood. Now I'm pretty happy with how that filter looks, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Review, just save. And back to the last one. So the last one is a photo of me standing in direct sunlight with a green palm tree. I'm going to press continue. Filters, Mood, Westwood. Now with this one, because I am in direct sunlight and that we have the green palm tree, it's actually washed out a lot of the colours. So I'm going to bring that down to about there, so that there is six dots showing on the right hand side. Now I'm going to press the tick, 
review and save it to my camera roll. Alrighty, so now that all the photos have their filter on it, I'm going to go into my second app which is called Photoshop Express. So I'm going to go in and select the first photo that we edited. Now this app likes to do this thing where it puts on an automatic filter. Get rid of it. Just press the back button up the top and it will take you back to like the normal photo. So the first thing I like to do is go into effects and then the first one I'm going to play with is the exposure. So with this photo, because it's outside, it's fairly light already, but I'm going to bring that up to about 10. Now I'm going to go across to shadows. Just because the sun is coming in on the side, there's a bit of a shadow on my face. So I'm going to bring that up to about 70. Then I'm going to go across to blacks and I'm going to bring that down to about 15 just to bring back a bit of a colour in the hedge and my bag, sunglasses and my hair. Then we're going to go to temperature and I'm going to put this on about negative 3, negative 4. This is going to add the blue into our photo. I'm pretty happy with that. Now. The colours look really good in this photo, so I don't think I have to play with the vibrance or the saturation. So the next one I'm going to go into is clarity. And I'm going to bring that up to about 10 or 15, just to bring out the leaves in the hedge and the details on my bag. And then we're going to go across to sharpen. And I'm going to bring that all the way up to about 90. And then we're going to go to reduce luminance. And we're going to bring that up to about 60, just to soften the photo a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to save that to my camera roll. Alrighty, so now that that one's done, we're going to go into the one of my breakfast. Again, we're going to get rid of the automatic filter. Effects. Now with the exposure, I'm going to bring that up to 10. Now I'm going to go into shadows. I'm going to bring that up to about... 50, just because there's not too many shadows, it's just a little bit on the plate from the light coming from above. Then we're going to go across to blacks and we're going to bring that down to about 25 just to bring out the colour of the plate. Temperature, we're going to bring that to about 4 or 3 to add our blue. Now, I'm pretty happy with how the colours look, so again, I don't have to touch the vibrance or the saturation. Now I'm going to select clarity, bring that up to about 20 to bring out all the details in the salad. Then we're going to go into sharpen, bring it up to 90, reduce luminance noise, we're going to bring that to 60. And I'm happy with that one as well, so I'm going to save that to my camera roll. Alrighty, so the next one is the one of me in the car. Now I'm going to get rid of the automatic filter. Now this one does need to be brightened quite a bit just because it was quite a dark day outside. So I might bring that up to about 10 I think. Then I'm going to go into shadows. Bring that up to 60. Blacks, I'm going to bring mm, probably about 35, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. Then we're going to go to temperature, about minus 4, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm actually going to play with the vibrance just a little bit. I'm going to bring that to about 10 and saturation I'm going to bring to about an 8. Just so you can see the bag a little more. Alright, so next we're going to go into clarity and I think I'm going to bring that to about 10. Now I'm going to go across to sharpen. I'm going to bring that up to about 90. 
and reduce luminance, I'm going to bring up to 60 again. And I'm happy with that photo, so I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Alrighty, so the last photo I'm going to be showing you is the one of me in front of the palm tree with the sunlight shining on my face. Okay, so I'm going to go across the shadows and I'm going to bring that up to 65, I think. It still looks nice with like the shadow in the background, but it's not enough to like completely ruin the photo. Now I'm going to go across to blacks. I'm going to bring that down to bring out the color of my hair. So I'm going to put that on about 40, I reckon. Then we're going to go to temperature. And again, we're going to drop that to about minus four, minus three. Vibrance, I don't think it needs any. I think it's fine. Saturation, I might bring up just a little bit, just because it is a summer photo. So I'm going to make myself look a little tanned. And I just want to bring out the colors of my outfit a little more just because it was quite washed out with the shadow. So I might bring that up to about 15. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now we're going to go to clarity. Bring that up to about 15 because I really want to bring out that palm tree. And then sharpen, bring it up to 90. Reduce luminance. I'm going to bring to 60. And I'm happy with that photo. Now I'm going to save it to my camera roll. And there you have it. We're done. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go into my Instagram. I'm going to show you like my old theme and my new theme just so you, like you can see like the difference. So I'm just going to scroll down. As you can see, the photos here are quite brown, like that was my main colour. A lot of the clothes I wore were brown and the backgrounds were brown. Like my skin looked really nice with it. But I don't know, I just kind of looked at it and they just started looking a bit dull to me. So that's why I started adding in the blue. And because I was taking a lot more photos outside with like the blue sky, I really wanted to like brighten that blue and make it really stand out. So we're going to scroll up to what it is now. As you can see here, I've just got about six, no, I've got nine images here of the new filter so you can see that they're a lot more bluer than my old one and I'm really happy with it. But yeah, as I said, I've only got nine photos so we've still got a lot more to go but I reckon I'm going to be really happy with this one. Alrighty, I really hope you guys enjoyed this updated version of how I edit my Instagram photos. If you have any questions regarding this video, feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I will also leave the name of the filter pack that I purchased in the description box below just so you don't buy the wrong one because that would suck. If you guys have any videos regarding Instagram that you want me to film for you, feel free to let me know down below. I will love to film them for you. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should probably go follow me. I will leave it linked down below for you. Now, I'm also going to leave my personal blog in the description box as well just because I'm going to do a written version of how I edit my Instagram photos. Just in case this video was a bit too confusing for you or if you're just one of those people who really like to read it step by step. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!